can't believe I just wasted my eyeballs watching this movie. Focus on me. We're back to our regularly scheduled program. The wings. Mickey Mouse Club House. content. We you like your see. Me. Telling you to subscribe. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Odi and this is Odi TV. So you guys, today we are going to be talking about two movies. One is recent and one is not so recent. But I'm going to talk about the first, the not so recent one first. And it's titled Beyond Pardon. What about your past? That man is beating until Lomai again. How many times have I warned you to stay away from other people's business? We can't just sit, fold our hands and sit down here and watch somebody killing somebody inside this compound. I have to go. If you had listened to me, you wouldn't have driven him to his death. I want to introduce you to a very rich man. I prefer that one. Ngozi will do it. I can't do I can't. Beyond Pardon is about Ngozi. Ngozi just lost her father. Then all of a sudden, all the burden of the whole family turns to her instead of the mother. And she, her father died when she was about 13 years old. <sighs> Let's talk about this film. This film was... Okay, so I'm going to be mixing what I like about it and what I don't like about the film, what I didn't like about the film. This movie was actually interesting. It had a good storyline. It brings awareness to child molestation. The child actors, that's young, young um, Ngozi and young Onyine. I don't know what the younger sister's name is. I forgot. I forget what the younger sister's name is. The acting was very, very beautiful, very natural. And there was no like, this when I see kid act, when I want to see, when I look at kid actors, Nigerian kid actors on my screen, that is the kind of thing I want to see. This film was poorly executed. I know that child molestation is uh, this what Ngozi went through a lot of people go through it but the fact that it took her so long to fight back is what was even making me annoyed with this movie because this movie actually pissed me off it pissed me off and the main reason why I was pissed off was because of Ngozi Ngozi I know that what, what happened to her the child sexual abuse started happening to her at a very young age and maybe at her young age she was not able to fully fight back but when she grew up at least to a certain level with the way her mother was treating her and with the way her younger sister was treating her or more if it were me i for don't leave that place excuse my language to hell with all of you not busy even though you're my mother i don't even care then on top of what her mother now did to her no Apart from the fact that I pissed me off, this movie was slow. It was actually really slow. There are some scenes that I would have done without. Some scenes were unnecessary, unnecessarily too long. Like the scene of when they were mourning her dad and the scene of when they were um, praising God. I mean, I, I love praising God, but, you know, we know they're praising God. And there were some scenes that she was doing on the, doing Ron's work on the road. So some things were just not needed, I swear. Honestly, honestly, I don't even fault her for spoiler. This is a little bit of spoiler. Honestly, I don't even blame her for killing her mother because girl Girl I'm not saying anything But I'm also not saying anything. Do, do you understand? Are we connected? <laughs> mm, let me just leave it there. Let me just leave it there because I mean man the mother her mother is very very ah. So that's my um, thoughts on the film nice story the execution, I don't know. The way the movie was kept going along and on and on and on. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I saw Ngozi fight back earlier and sooner or something. Because initially, me, I even thought that she was going to run away as she was a teenager self, but at first, she didn't. Anyway, okay, so that's it on Beyond Pardon. Um, nice movie. You can check it out. It may piss you off the way it pissed me off. And um, it's, I'll rate it a 7 over 10. Yeah, interesting, interesting watch. Check it out. The next one I'm going to talk about is the one that came out today. I just watched it like about three hours ago and it's titled code code defiled first of all nollywood i don't understand this youbo's naming system because i don't get well, after watching this film i don't understand how the name of this movie is code defiled like what what is the the disjunction and the adjunction i have no idea yeah nadia is a naive simple-hearted kind young lady and she continued continually gets bullied by her colleagues because of you know that her naive nature it wasn't really beautiful you know normal things now they'll give her bad wig 
make her wear glasses that kind of thing so she wasn't beautiful so um then she had a makeover but things still didn't change somehow yeah. so the cast of the movie include benjamin tito moyo lawal sandra okunzowa and uche uwe funa do you know uh do you know the first thing i said immediately after watching this film i can't believe i just wasted my eyeballs watching this movie i do you know the funniest thing the cast ensemble is actually lit like you know Moya Lawal, Benjamin Tito, Sandra Kuzawa, and then um, Uche Wafina. All of them they can act. When I saw this movie was directed by Energy Chris, I had a prop. I was like, oh my god, Energy Chris, don't make me regret watching this film. This movie was hella confused. It had a nice premise. You know, this whole, I mean, not, not this kind of, not like we've not seen this kind of cliche premise before. All this whole, oh, girl that likes this guy, what's he gonna do, makeover? And the guy suddenly notices her, but obviously, obviously, they will not end up together. So I thought this movie was about Nadia, that's Sandra Okunzowa, and, and her journey to becoming like a strong willed woman that will stand up for herself. But no, this movie was hella confused. So at the time they even ditched Nadia herself and started focusing on a, a Buki and Eric. Like, why? Yeah. That first relationship with Buki and Eric. How did Eric even start liking Buki? I mean, I know that Eric liked the fact that Buki was always standing up to... That's my hitter, please ignore it. I know that Eric liked the way that Buki was standing up to him and everything. But bro, that is not grounds for... Even if you want to use that as grounds for... Grounds to start a relationship. They didn't use... They didn't develop it well. I mean, I mean, the relationship did not work out. But you, you get what I'm trying to say. Then, you guys, this movie was actually a, a huge mess it was a huge mess then there was not this loop looping music musical sound that was going to know to know over and over and over and over and over I, like when i was watching the movie i kept on saying what is this loop what is this loop like i swear i swear i will not be surprised if they play that loop in in in, in hellfire as torture for somebody because that loop was damn near touch torturing me out of my skin guy this movie was just not it. It was not it. I, and I like the people in the movie. I like them. You know? No. Don't watch it. You can watch it, but I will not advise you. I will not advise you to at all. Like... <sighs> Rating. 3 over 10. 3 over 10. Please, don't go there. Don't, 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 don't go there. You guys, thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Do everything. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Don't forget to tell me what you thought about the movies. I know somebody was somebody kept on reminding me to make a video about Beyond Pardon. So now I've done it. Then I want to I want me and you to discuss in the comment section. So let's go. Bye.